Released on 88 films on Blu-ray as Pigs, a movie from 1972 that had a couple of different titles. One was The 13th Pig and another title which I won't tell you because I feel as if it's a little bit of a spoiler towards the plot. This was a movie that I saw the cover, read the synopsis and felt that I knew exactly what I was getting and I was happy to involve myself into that. But the movie's a little bit more than just what I was expecting. It lures you in by doing typical tropes of these kind of movies that we've seen before. And before you know it, it starts to evolve the characters. Something that generally doesn't happen in these movies. And before you know it, at the end of it, you have kind of fully fleshed out characters and a story that you're semi-invested in. It was quite an interesting turn. The basic premise is about this man Zambrini who owns a cafe come pig farm who is kind of talked about and feared by the locals but they still go there anyway and they fear him or they talk about him because people suspect that he feeds human beings to his pigs and he kind of does as well as we've known from the opening scene of the movie. The other main character here is Lynn who we see sort of driving into town. It's obviously she's on the run from something. She takes up a job at Zambrini's cafe and the two of these people kind of make a connection. There's an age difference and Zambrini kind of likes having somebody around. Lynn just wants to get away from things and, and just keep her head down. And it's obvious that she's on the run from something. We hear kind of one-sided conversations with her father that allude to the fact that she is away for something. She's run away from her past, from something that's happened, and that's fine. It does eventually explain what that is, but it lets you guessing, and it kind of builds up throughout the movie. There's a lot of things in here that I didn't expect. I expected there to be more pigs and more pigs eating people and that seems to be a very slight part of the story. It is a, a part of the story but it's usually as disposal of murder victims throughout the movie. We have some interesting sub-characters as well. We have a sheriff, we have this kind of guy that's taken a liking to Lynn that appears and then we have these two old women that stay in the house across from Zambrini that definitely believe that he is feeding people to pigs. And this is a movie that has some weird and wacky directorial style about it. There's things that just pop out at you that are just a little bit weird. And don't even repeat themselves later on. There's a scene where Zambrini is dressed up in kind of makeup and is say, taunting the two old women. It's never mentioned again. There's never a scene like it ever again. It just kind of moves on from there. And it's that adds to that whole weirdness of the movie. And the movie is probably equal parts fun and terrifying at the same time because it builds up this sense of dread and atmosphere in the latter half of the movie where you've considered it's going to be something at the start and that's just what it's going to be and it doesn't do that, it evolves. This movie was made in eight days and everything almost you hear about it makes you feel that it's going to be not worth the effort. But it definitely is, it's a movie that I can highly recommend. I wasn't sure where it was going to go and it really surprised me and that's something that very few movies do these days, especially something from 1972. And it surprised me by really enriching a character, by making them have a really good story and make it really interesting and worthwhile. It's a low budget movie and it kind of feels that way and it's very 70s uh, in its style and that's fine. The gore um, is kind of unrealistic but in a good way. It fits, the blood is just a little bit too red um, and a little bit too untextured for my liking but it fits with this kind of aesthetic of the movie and it's something that I can just go, you know what, I'm happy with that. Pigs was a movie that I just didn't expect to like as much as I did. The cover kind of made me think one thing and I got something that was better, more surprising, a lot more fun. Some great performances, especially from Zambrini. I think he, he wrote the movie and directed as well. The, the actor, I don't know his name, can't remember. Lynn, um, the, the person that's on the run who works with him, it was really good as well because her role kind of starts off as a ditzy um, female who is kind of shy and bullied and pushed around but becomes a stronger person by the end of the movie. And yeah, I don't want to get into too much about it. I think it's worth checking out, it's worth picking up. If you're into these kind of early 70s horror movies or you like horror in general, this has got something to offer that I haven't seen done before in other movies. And I think you should pick it up. I'd love to know your opinion on this movie. Let me know in the comment box below. And I'll see you next time on Man Vs Film.